The iconic phone booth. It was an essential monument in the telephone's history, and now it's basically just a tourist attraction or a place to seek shelter from the cold. The public phone booth is pretty obsolete nowadays with the rise of the mobile phone. There's rarely going to be any need for a coin-operated telephone when you have one in your pocket already. Speaking of telephones, another piece of technology that's basically obsolete, rotary telephones and any wired landlines. The wired telephone dates back as far as 1844. It's seen a ton of iterations over the years that have since passed. The rotary dial telephone in particular featured a dial that was arranged in a circular layout. It had numbers and letters. The user then could turn the dial for each digit of the phone number that they were trying to call. Did you have a pager or a beeper? Pagers were originally designed and built as early as the 1950s, but they didn't really take hold in terms of popularity until the 1980s. These one-way communication devices were often used by emergency services, doctors, safety personnel, people who needed to be reachable at all times, even when away from their landline telephone. The rise of mobile phones in the early 2000s saw the decline in the use of pagers and beepers, but due to their durability, their resilience, and the better coverage that they offered, they were still used for several more years. For example, Canada was still paying as much as $18.5 million for its pager service in 2013. Fax machines. The humble fax machine. It was essentially a modern version of sending a telegram. For many years, it allowed people and businesses to transmit scanned documents from one phone number to another. The recipient would have the joy of a printed copy of the document bursting forth from their machine. This was all done by a transmission of audio frequency tones that were deciphered at the other end. Like many of the technologies on this list, fax machines have largely been rendered obsolete by the invention of email, the internet, and advancements in computing technologies. Compact cassette tapes. Basically an audio brother to VHS and Betamax cassette tapes, the compact cassette tape was originally introduced in 1968. It used the same magnetic tape technology to deliver affordable audio to the masses. They were used as either blank tapes that could be recorded onto, or as pre-recorded cassettes of music albums. Cassettes could also be used to store other data. They were used as a storage medium for early home computers. Cassette tapes gained popularity in the 1980s, but the 90s were outsold though by compact discs, which soon became the standard format. Nonetheless, cassette tapes continued to sell, and it wasn't until 2001 that they truly began to die, at least in pre-recorded formats. Blank tapes were still being sold right up until 2012. In their heyday, cassette tapes sold as many as 442 million in the United States alone. <laughs> I have a couple of memories of fighting cassette players to rescue chewed up tapes and then spending hours twirling them back together with a pencil. <laughs> In the late 1980s, VHS tapes became the popular standard for home video. Whether used for recording family videos or even renting them from Blockbuster Video, just to watch the newest movie. These small reels of magnetic tape wrapped in plastic housing brought joy all across the world. Unless, of course, somebody forgot to rewind the tape that you rented or a sibling recorded over your copy of whatever feature film you wanted to watch. 
The rise of DVD saw to the slow but steady demise of VHS, and by 2008, DVD replaced VHS as the favored video technology, both for recording and also for film distribution. Speaking of going back in time, imagine yourself in your childhood classrooms. What did you see? Overhead projectors, most likely. It was a simple yet wonderful system for projecting images, text, and drawings onto an appropriate screen. Transparencies made from acetate were used in place of paper to enable presenters to transpose their presentations onto the screen in front of the class. Although there are probably still some used today, most of these overhead projectors have been rendered obsolete by modern projection systems using technology and computers presenting digital images. Did you ever get the pleasure of using a typewriter? The humble typewriter, precursor to the modern computer, was in its day a marvel of technology. A step up from paper and pen, the typewriter opened up a world of possibilities for those looking to craft novels, document history, or just scribe propaganda. The foundations of the typewriter were laid down as far back as 1575, but it's rarely used in a modern world of computers, laptops, and tablets. That being said, I did just read an article about a college classroom where the professor said you couldn't have any laptops out, and so a student brought in a typewriter and started typing away to take his notes. Everybody in the class said that was the last time they were told they couldn't have their laptops out. The traditional film camera has basically long since been pushed from the mass market by the modern age of the digital camera. No longer do we need to rely on reels of film or trips to the local shop to get them processed. Digital cameras, SD cards, modern computing systems, well, they all mean that we can snap away happily and see the results of our photos instantly with far less hassle and expense. That being said, pro photographers and retro snappers still do use film cameras today for certain artistic purposes, but there are not that many people doing that anymore. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.